finally some news coming out of Celtic Park today and we have finally made our second signing of the summer transfer window. We've been waiting a few days for this. It looked like it was going to happen. It was a sure done deal that it was going to happen. And it's finally been announced just there on Twitter by both Celtic and Sky Sports News. So it's as official as official can be. Olivier and Cham, as I be believe it's pronounced, has officially signed for Celtic. Thank God almighty we have actually made a signing. There's a couple of things to discuss going into this and I'm very happy we've actually made a signing. Although I don't know anything about the guy. I've not never never heard of him until we bid bidded for him. Never heard of him, never seen him play. All I know is we got him from Manchester City. He's been a Manchester City youngster for quite a while now and usually when a youngster plays for a big team such as Man City, Man United, whatever, they're quite something special. They've got to be something special. They've got to be somewhat good to be playing uh, youth level for a big team if they're willing to bring them up. But he has signed for Celtic. I'm looking forward to see what he can bring to the team. He's a central midfielder in case you don't know. I'm looking forward to see what can happen. But what I'm most happy about is the fact we've actually dipped into the transfer market and we've done something. So that takes our spending now for the... the uh, well, actually, it's our third sign and I keep forgetting about that, that uh, new boy as well, Benu. So it takes our spending, what, up to about 6 million quid or something like that. We signed Hayes for about 1.5 million. Benu, I believe, was a, uh, only about 5 hundred grand on a development fee and now we've spent the the four million four and a half the details the reports are suggesting is a four point five million pounds deal which can rise to five million pounds through add-ons uh, which is is quite a lot of money and it really makes you wonder now and this is the discussion point we're going to talk about what are we doing with the, this many center mids what's happening who's coming who's going what, what what's happening with the center mids that we've got in our squad that is now two central midfielders that Celtic have spent quite highly on in the past six months we bought Kuasi Abui in January for three million pounds and now we've signed Olivier and Cham for what 4.5 million pounds bringing it up to about 7.5 million and Kuasi Abui has had one appearance basically two appearances in a Celtic top so, uh, maybe more than two. But it really does make you wonder, how, are they going to fit into the team? Are they going to get into the team? Or is this just going to be a little bit of a waste of money until they do start playing? Uh, it's quite a lot of money. You know, now, if you're watching and you're a fan from England, you might think three million, four million. That's fuck all. But for us, Celtic, and you'll know as a Celtic fan, that's that's money that is valuable. And if we spend that, you expect it to be on a good player. So, you know, hopefully they do break into the first team, they get a chance in the first team. But the main discussion point from this is, is it the end of the line for Stuart Armstrong? Are we going to see Stuart Armstrong leave Celtic? And that's why I've really made this video, is to discuss where they're going to fit in, and where Olivier and Cham's going to fit in. It's a very short video, just to bring out the news that he's actually signed. Quickly, before we move on to the topic of Stuart Armstrong, Strong Olivier and Cham was, in, in case none of you don't know, or any of you don't know, uh, he was on loan to Genoa, the Serie A side last season. He made 23 appearances, scoring three goals and getting one assist. Apparently, he was a very strong central midfielder. He done a lot for the team. Um, he, he seems like a good player. He seems like he might be actually half decent at Celtic. He played in the top tier of Italian football, and I'm sure if he can be even half decent there, he's going to come to our league and probably quite good. So hopefully, as I said, he gets into the team. I would like to see him be a, a kind of a new Victor Wanyama if you like I feel like we need that sort of player and if he plays anywhere near the likes of Victor Wanyama and plays as good as him that would be a fantastic pickup for Celtic but we'll see how he plays it's his style of course he's not coming in to copy the likes of Victor Wanyama he's coming in to be himself and uh, hopefully he does bring something to the team which will be valuable because as I said is this the end for Stuart Armstrong? We've obviously been hearing about these contract talks and they're stalling and we're trying to get Armstrong to sign a long-term deal with Celtic. Amongst the interest from the teams down south, the likes of West Brom and I think Newcastle were after him. Uh, but apparently, and I'm taking this as a big apparently, so you take it as a big apparently, um, the, his agent is wanting completely unrealistic terms that Celtic are just not going to be able to pay out and is it to the point now Celtic are going to have to either keep him this year and let the contract run out losing valuable money for him or sell him this summer what would you do if you were Brendan Rodgers would you sell Stuart Armstrong because personally if you take every factor from every every, every you know obviously Dembele Griffiths they score goals right and then we've got Tierney who's a great defender but all round who could do, I would say Armstrong is probably got to be the best player on the team 
probably the best player on the team. When it comes to quality, he can pass, he can shoot, he can create, he can get back when he needs to. He's a very strong player. I feel like it'll be massive, a massive both. I do not want to lose him at any cost. I know we've brought in Cham now, and I know we've got Brown, we've got in Cham, we've got Kuasi, we've got McGregor, we've got Rogic, we've got all these players who can play in a central midfield position. But Stuart Armstrong by far and wide, to be honest. Maybe it would accept maybe Brown is Brown is a, a different type of player to be fair. But Armstrong is such a strong player in all areas that I feel like if we lose him, it will be a massive blow, especially when it comes to European games. He showed it on international level in his debut for Scotland a few months ago and he's proved it this whole season in club level how good a player he is. I feel like if he's to go, it's gonna be a massive blow for Celtic. But Olivier Encham is coming in. How will he be able to try and win a place in a team? And that's and Kundai Benyu. He's another central midfielder. We're signing a lot of central midfielders. We've got a lot of them. And it's going to make you think someone will go. At least maybe near Baton will go. Someone is probably going to have to leave the club. Because we've just got so many. And how can we accommodate to each player? How can we fit each player into the team? Because P Kuasi Abui, 19, fair enough. But it's £3 million pounds doing the soiree if he just does not get a look in ever on this team. And I feel like... If we're spending this money, it's got to be worth it, and hopefully it will be worth it. But the main talking point is, and that's the whole point of the video, Celtic have made their third summer signing, finally doing something quite big. Is, this the, is there going to be more to come? Hopefully. Probably not till after the first round of European qualifiers now. Um, but I'd like to see us bring in a winger, a defender, and I'll be very satisfied, satisfied from this transfer window if that happens. But there you go, £4.5 million and Olivier and Cham has signed for Celtic. So, there you go, comments section, welcome Olivier, or whatever it is, Oliver, Olivier, I don't even know if I've been saying it right this video. Uh, if you've enjoyed, make sure you hit like and subscribe, uh, and I'll see you all next time.